What's going on guys? So uh, I wanted to play some Diablo 2 and do some runs, but the uh, servers are down. So I figured I'd make this video um, because I get this question a lot in the comments of my videos of what my item is worth. And a lot of times I don't know what my items are worth. So I use these resources and there's two good resources that I found to determine what, um, you know, if, if, if an item's worth keeping. Um, so starting off, so Diablo 2. Dot, io backslash trade uh, is the website to f is the first one I use. So it's the Diablo 2 Resurrected Trading Market. I literally just did Diablo 2 Resurrected Trading and it's the first thing that popped up and it's a great resource. So it searches all active and sold trades from the last 24 hours and it gives you the um, what person the person's selling and what they're usually what they're looking for. So they, they say um, like for Alder's Rhythm Three open socket is looking for a lem. Um, so this is not, I wouldn't say exact prices, but it gives a great, so let's say you found the, uh, the Oculus, which is amazing. Um, there's a bunch of trades that come up of people trading in Oculus. Now I have not traded on the site, so I don't know anything about that. I just kind of use it as a price check tool. And you can see um, what people are looking for. So this person's looking for an ist. Um, this person's looking for Vex or Shaco, which is, I think, a little bit high based on the other offers. And um, these are all active, but you can also filter by all these different categories, magic or other set. You could look for um, show only sold, which gives you an idea of you no know, matches on this page. Uh, but for a specific page, like ones that have been sold. Uh, let's see. Let's try another item. Stone of Jordan. So same same kind of thing. Um, and this one ha happens to have a sold next to it. So sold for one Mal rune and one Vex rune. Um, now, I need a refresher. And I'm sure a lot of new, new people don't know, like rune values of how much each, each is worth. So the other tool I use... And you guys could look at this site and, and fool around with it, um, but it's a great site for uh, looking up values. What I use, and this is uh, dated back to 2017, but I still find it's the best resource. And it's pretty accurate based on when I compare the both, both sites. This is um, Diablo2.net. And I'll put the link in the description. I'm on the America server, but this is uh, pretty consistent with America, even though this is Europe so soft core ladder price, 2017. Um, it's very organized from one to 20 from currency to unique charms, unique items to magic and set items. And it gives you a great indication of what things should be worth. So um, I will let you guys just check that out on your, in your own. I'll go through each of the, the categories if you want to stick around. And uh, yeah, so starting off with currency. So 9 to 10 P gems, and, and I think prices might be a little higher now because we're still early in the game. But this is um, maybe in a few weeks, it's going to be more close to these these price. But it'll just give you a, a general idea. So um, 9 to 10 P gems random, you might get a pull for. I don't know. I think that it used to be for my... It used to be like maybe like a pull room for 40 P gems, like later on in the ladder. But early on, this, this is possible. Um, 40 perfect gems, maybe you'll get like a like an um rune for or so. Um, but just to give you an indication of what you should be saving, at least. So amethyst and rubies are obviously worth more than regular perfect gems. Amethyst, because you could do uh, craft caster amulets. Rubies, because you can... There's power crafts, which I have not done. Um, but there's blood crafts that allow you to make like life leech type uh, gloves and different type of equipment miscellaneous and this is something i didn't know for a while um but junk jewels are, are used in the uh the caster amulet formula i think it's like a row rune amulet and um the perfect amul uh amethyst and rolling those will give you like a Everyone tries to get the plus two skill, resistance, and 20% faster cast. Um, three by three key sets, uh, you guys could do the math, but the, if you have all nine keys, three of each, it's worth a small 
Uh, if you do the Ubers, organ set is worth about two mists. Spirit pack, so save those Talful or M and Hell runes. That's another thing to keep in mind because people like to reroll the spirits and monarchs to try to get that perfect 35 faster cast. Um, Token of Absolution is worth about a pull rune, and you can get uh, one of each of the essences from the bosses uh, Mephisto, Diablo, Bell, and. Uh, Mephisto, Diablo, Bell, and, and Daryl. Daryl does not have a uh, essence. And then uh, if you're selling them in bulk, you'll probably get an ist for uh, four to five of them. Uh, as I touched on above, you want to you, you want to save these because they're used in crafting. Uh, Tiernef, Tal, or Thol, um, Ral and M, Soul and Hell. And Hell is actually used to uh, that and Town Portal in a uh, in a cube will remove the runes from like the Spirit Rune Word, so you can keep rerolling the same Monarch with the uh, Talthol or M Spirit Pack. Um, this is very helpful as well. It shows you the ratio of how much each rune is worth in comparison to each other one. So generally two miles is each equal to a, an ist. Um, six ists equal an ohm, which is kind of usually the base ohm and, and lower, like the base high rune. And then generally the bear and, and jaw, bear and jaw are like higher high rune values. So like 1.5 cost of a high rune, if that makes any sense. Uh, Going down here, if you have a, a Gids, a lot of people um, go for that perfect 40% uh, magic find. So it's worth a lot more than, let's say, a, a lower magic find one. And um, if you have 50% reduced on the uh, vendors, depending on the buyer, but you, you might be able to get an is for that. Going to the torches here. Uh, again, this is non pally your source, sorceress, because those are the most valuable torches. Uh, I'll kind of skip ahead here because you guys can look at that on your own. Unique Helms, Steel Skull, if it's perfect, Crown of Thieves. Um, usually, like the Ethereal are most valuable because you could use them on your Mercenary and they don't take uh, durability damage. Right now, Shake Shaco is, uh, I think, worth a lot more than a pull. But this is like later on in the ladder but like if you can see the comparison of like a perfect shako compared to like a uh, a lower one and how drastic the difference is so if you have a perfect item it's worth like a lot more than let's say one that's like 70 or 80 percent of a perfect one because people just love perfect items in this game uh night wings and Ariel's visage visage crown of ages giant skull Ariad's face kira's griffins um, and these are mostly just found in like the I level 85 areas. Uh, skin of the Viper Magi, I trade, I actually, early on, I, I traded for one. I paid an um rune. Still worth about that. Um, anything higher, you might be able to get a mall rune for. Daryl Shell, Chef Stop. Um, unique shields, including Storm Shield, Littlest, Homunculus, Herald of Zacharum. This video is actually getting much longer than I expected. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to skip ahead here. Um, there's just unique weapons, Azure Wrath, Schaefer's, Thunderstroke. I mean, I can make a more detailed video, but I know general pe generally people like uh, shorter videos. Unique amulets, unique jewels, and then just all these sets. And then you go into the grand charms of how much each skiller is worth. So um, I'll let you guys look at these your own. And then these are the, the rune words, Call to Arms, Enigma, Infinity, Fortitude, Grief, Hoto. And it also shows you the bases of what, like, Dust Shroud, Arcan Plate, uh, Mage Plate, Sacred Armor. And I'm going to leave it here. So that's it. Uh, hopefully the servers come back soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to go into anything more detail in a separate video. Trying to keep it short. Thanks for watching.